Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. To the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, Shalom Wahabla Bakir Shoya Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again within a lesson. Bahar Chachora Shah Amar from the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video is uh, just going in on how we're in a, a, a blessed position. And um, without Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we would be bugged the fuck out, man. Just like the rest of these people. Bugged the fuck out of their mind. Okay, and um, the Spirit gave me this lesson. I was watching the Elder Yashawan, but his video, he was going in on John Jones and how. Nigga got, I think he got caught with another DUI, because I'm pretty sure this is not his first one. But they, they got him on video, he's drunk as hell, all bugged out. And he's supposed to have everything that you could ask for in this world, right? You got the money, the fame, and you know, what comes with money and fame is uh, um, you could choose any woman you want, you know. But he's bugged out, he's not happy, just like the rest of these so-called celebrities, the rest of these people that got fame. Uh, was it Biggie? More money, more problems. Okay, these motherfuckers that got the fame and got the money, they they the worst type of demons. They they them motherfuckers is depressed. That's why they walk around with shades. That's why they're addicted to drugs. Bugged out of the bugged the fuck out of their mind. Okay, and they got they're rich. They're they're they're, they're so called rich in this world. And we don't got shit. We don't got shit in this life. We gotta work. We gotta work a job. Okay, struggling to make ends meet. Subject onto payments, we at the we at the bottom, but we have Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, we have this truth, we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That makes us we're we're in the best position that that we can uh, uh, possibly be in. Uh, I was watching the elder Manat Zakba. He was going in on how these different celebrities they got bunkers, they're bugged out of their mind. Post Malone, he thinks he's gonna survive. He has no clue what's going on. He got a bunker and, 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 a, and a, uh, when you go into it, they're telling exactly where these bunkers are. What's the point? <laughs> you got a bunker, but you're telling everybody where the bunker's at. So when all hell breaks out loose, where you think niggas going to run to? Okay, they're going to try to go see Post Malone or they're going to try to see Kim and Khloe Kardashian. All right, these are different um, celebrities that got bunkers. They're not going to be safe from what's to, to, to happen. The best bunker that you can possibly have is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The best bunker that you can possibly have is faith in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. It says that um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower of, uh, uh, of defense. Let's just start off with that precept, okay? This is Proverbs chapter 18. And see, we're different. We're not like, I just ordered a, a new Bible, you know. Um, it's, it's the same exact one. This, this is my first, this is my first Bible when I came into the truth. Uh, my father gave it to me. So all, I, I know where everything is at, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, it's not, it's not the same getting into another Bible. So I just found, I used the, I, I looked up the ISBN number and I have a bunch of other ones, but it's just not built the same way. All right. The stitching is not, you know, as authentic. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm excited because I got another Bible, which is the same as this one. Hopefully even better, even better, uh, um, you know, binding it and, and whatever. But everything should be in the same exact place. Okay, and I'm excited about it. I can't wait. As a matter of fact, I paid a little extra for uh, uh, expedite shipping. Okay, that, that we're different from, we get excited over things like that. Okay, we get excited when we hear Russia going into Ukraine. We get excited. Hey, these gas prices is exciting us. Okay, because the, guy, the gas prices going up means what? Everything else got to go up. Everything else in the store is going to go up with the gas prices going up because how do those things get into the store? It doesn't just magically appear. No, you got to use gas to go and pick this shit up and, and take it to where it needs to be and take it to its destination. So if the gas goes up, the food is going to go up, okay? And everything else, all the rest of your necessities, we're going to see them go up as well, okay? We're in the end of this shit. This is the comfort in our affliction, in our affliction as everybody else is bugging out. They're losing their mind. They don't know what's going on. We're we're calm and collected. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. We have a treasure. I believe it's in Corinthians. 
Paul wrote it. It says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. All right. In Romans the 11 chapter, it says, oh, how deep is the riches and the knowledge and, and unsearchable the, of the knowledge of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is. Roughly paraphrasing Romans the 11 chapter, the 33rd verse. OK, we're the richest people on the earth in the book of um, James. It says because we don't got like, like I said, we don't have money. We don't have the, the riches of this world. OK, but this world is coming to an end. So fuck the riches of this world. We got the riches of the world to come. Riches that fade not. Uh, uh, the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, says riches. Uh, it says that um, store up your treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do if not corrupt. Our spiritual bank account is booming. Okay, let's let's get this James real fast. This is the book. Of, I'm going the wrong way. This is James chapter two and verse five. It says, "Hearken, my beloved brethren." This book is for the beloved. Okay, beloved. When you go into the Hebrew, uh, it's the Hebrew word dawada or dawad. Okay, which is where you get the name David from. It means beloved. This is for the house of David. This is not for all of Israel. And damn sure, not for everybody on this earth. For all these other nations. This book is for the elect. All Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it. The rest was blinded. Okay. It says, A book of remembrance is written unto them that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We speak wisdom unto them that is perfect. Showing you that this is for the elect. All these other groups talking about gathering all Israel and, and, and uh, uh, the community, okay? Them niggas is off and they're not in the right spirit. This is the book of James chapter 2 and verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? I'd rather be poor in this world. I'd rather be poor than how the money of uh, uh, John Jones and, and, and Floyd Mayweather. I just seen uh, uh, recently Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather was with Kanye. Some white bitch and it was, the picture just looked all completely bugged the fuck out. Some football, Antonio Brown, I think it was. I'm like, this is a demonic ass picture. I don't know what the fuck they was doing, but I know, I look at the picture, I'm like, I know some demonic shit was going on, man. This nigga has all these cars. Nigga got a whole bunch of goddamn cars. That's all you can do with your money is buy a bunch of fucking cars. You can only drive one at once. All right? These people are empty. We're not empty. We found exactly what we are looking for. Okay? We don't need to look at, find ourselves. We don't need to, to, to look for validation from anybody in this, in this world. We got what we need. Okay? We're fulfilled with this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. All we're doing is waiting for our Savior to come back. And He's coming back fast. He's coming. It says uh, in the book of um, Revelations, Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to render to every man according to his works, whether they be good or whether they be evil, roughly paraphrasing. And if we continue to do what we're doing, we're going to get a, a, a reward for our good works, which is what faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and participate in this ministry, giving our all to this ministry. OK, rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability. A great reward is coming to us. Hebrews, the 11th chapter. It's like Hebrews, the 10th chapter, it says, um, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. The word confidence is synonymous with faith. Cast not, cast not away. Cast not. Let me just read it. Hebrews chapter 10. And I'm jumping around, you know, Salakia, bear with me. You know, it's been a long week. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> it's been a long week and it's only Wednesday, man. But what keeps me going throughout the week is that, you know, camp, camp is on Saturday. You know, not, you know, niggas, niggas live their whole life for the weekend to go to the, to, to fake stunt in a club, to ball on a budget, to ball on a budget for some dirty hoes. Okay, I can't wait. I can't wait to get with the brothers, man. Okay, I can't wait to get with the brothers. I can't wait to camp. And, and, and uh, then Sunday, we got the Sunday sit down. You know, we got Sunday class, break bread with the Akium. You know, and then uh, that's going to be enough to get me through the next week. Okay, we got the Pasak coming up. Okay, these these different things that's going on in the spirit uh, uh, strengthens me to get through the shit that we go through in the flesh. But this is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. It says, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. There's a great reward coming to us, man. All right. And then what's coming to these people that got money in this world, that sold out in this world? They're going to die. Look at John Jones. He's bugged the fuck out of his mind. He's going to perish with the rest of these people. Okay? He's going to perish Floyd Mayweather in his 30 cars. Perish in his four houses. There, He's going to perish. All right? He has a daughter. She's a slut. She's an airhead. Okay? 
can't possibly be happy with that shit. You have all this money. Money ain't shit. Okay? And it's being made evident. They're bringing in this digital this digital dollar. This uh, uh the new currency. Okay? It's over with for this place. That shit comfort us. That should bring us peace of mind. Going back into the Isaiah. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability at our times. All this stuff going on. All this hell going on around the world. And we're stable. Cool as a cucumber. Okay? Because the Lord has blessed us with this great wisdom. And this wisdom. It says what is richer than wisdom in the book of wisdom of Solomon. We're in a ble- uh, uh, Like the elder Yashawamba was saying. We're in the best position possible. We're in a blessed position. Okay? We could have been, look, it, it, we could have been Steph Curry. That shit would suck. Honestly, that shit would suck to be Steph Curry right now. All right, he just signed like a $200 million, I believe, $200 million uh, deal, five-year contract. Uh, his wife is a is a hoe. She she wants to, she's uh, wants more niggas in her DM. She's fiending for attention from other men, Right? We could have been that nigga. Okay? That would suck. We could have been Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Money Mayweather. All this money. And still he had, and still the women that he has doesn't even respect him. Okay? And, and all the money that he's accumulated. The great career that he had. It's all going to perish on this side. What we have is eternal. What we have is everlasting. All we have to do is Revelations 2. Hold fast that which ye have already until the Lord comes. He that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, the same shall get power over the nations. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. Cast not away therefore your confidence, meaning what? Remain faithful, which have great recompense of reward. Galatians the 6th chapter says, be not weary in well-doing. That's synonymous with what? Cast not away therefore your confidence. Okay, because if you have confidence, if you have faith, then you'll continue to, to do well. You'll continue in well-doing, right? Cast, uh, it says, um, continue in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if we faint not. We shall reap, we shall get that reward. If we don't faint, if we don't cast away our confidence, if we don't lose faith. Verse 36, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and he that shall come... Will come and will not tarry. We just got a little bit more longer. And our king, our savior, uh, uh, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai will, re- will return. And when he returns and he finds us faithful. And he finds us serving him. And, and he finds us in his spirit. In his Holy Spirit. He's going to lift us up. And he's going to bless us with, with everything. The meek shall inherit the earth. It says, blessed is that servant. My, some of my favorite scriptures. Blessed is my, blessed is." That servant whom when his Lord comes shall find him doing. He shall make him a ruler over all his goods. Yahweh Shai is coming and just said it. Just a little bit more longer. He that shall come will come and will not tarry. So when he comes we want to be found doing what he has asked us to do. Being faithful. Luke 18 it says nevertheless when the son of man comes shall he find faith on earth. Being them faithful servants. Alright. The, the, uh, uh, them virgins that follow him whithersoever he goeth. Alright. And if we are in if we if we remain in this position that we're in, which is what in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, faithful to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and he returns, he's gonna man, he's gonna make us a ruler over all his goods. He said, "My father's house is, is many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you." So not only ruling the earth, but going outside of the earth and exploring outer space with Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says. Because you have been faithful over these few things. These are all things Yahweh Shai said. Because you have been faithful over these few things. I will give you authority over many cities. Again, start with the earth. Start with having authority over many cities on the earth. Floyd Mayweather don't have many uh, uh, many cities. Where Where is um uh, the city of Floyd? The city of Mayweather. Where he's making the rules. Where his face is on the money. Okay? Where he's the king. He's the ruler. There's... You know, there's, um, he doesn't have that. All he has, that nigga so broke, all he has is money. Okay? That's how poor he is. We got something way better than money. Going back into that wisdom of Solomon, I quoted, what is richer than wisdom? Okay? We got, we, we, we're the richest men on the earth, and I still got that James. We'll get that next. 
Matter of fact, that's it on this, um, that's it on this Hebrews. Actually, I'll continue. It says, for ye have need of patience, be not weary in well-doing, that after ye have received, that, that's like it, that, that after ye have done the will of Yahweh, ye might receive the promise. It says, unto us is exceeding great and precious promises. For yet a little while, and he that, and the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. For yet a little while, he that shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith. We living off of faith. All right? Oh, and and with faith, you can move mountains. All right? So the Lord is, is about to turn our faith up even higher and, 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 and allow a lot of great things to happen within our lives. A lot of miracles to happen within our lives. And, man, the, I'll be having these honeymoon stages, right? Like when you first come into the when you first come into the truth, and I don't want to ramble too much, but when you first come into the truth, you're in that honeymoon stage. But periodically, it's like them though, that that you know. And I always you know, uh, it's, it's not like like uh, I'm dragging or anything like that. But it's like uh, these periods where it's like fuck, I'm just in I'm in love. I'm I'm, I'm literally in love. I'm uh, uh, enamored by the word. I'm enamored by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. No matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter because I have him, because I have this word, because I have this wisdom, because I have this faith that he has given me. Okay? And it's like intensified. It's intensified above the usual level to where it's like butterflies. You know, they, they talk about butterflies in your stomach. All right. Over this girl that you like or vice versa, a girl that likes you, you know, you, she makes you, she, she make, uh, she makes you nervous or you make her nervous, whatever the fuck, man. All right. That's how I feel with this word. We're truly blessed and highly favored above all men to be in the position that we're in, which is, you know, which is the point of this lesson. I don't have nothing, you know, written out or anything. You know, I just pray to the Lord and, and, and I hope that it's being edifying. Okay, so it says, Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them that draw back onto perdition. If you draw back, you're going to die. If you go, if you draw back, you're going to be destroyed, which is what perdition means, destruction. But of them who believe to the saving of the soul. And that's, and that's where I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get my soul saved. Okay? As well as my household, Adawan Ratazah. Adawan Ratazah. Okay? And then that's when life truly begins. Right now, we're just... We're, pit, we're strangers and pilgrims on this earth. Right now, we're just doing what we got to do to get by. All right? And keeping our uh, eyes single and focus on the mission. Focus on the objective that Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai has given us when he brought us upon this earth. Okay? Because we, we're not here on accident. Okay? The Lord sent, sent our spirits on this earth to do a job. And the job is what? Prophesying his return. And prophesying the downfall of this wicked, vile society. Now, if we complete this mission, whew, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for Him. Like we, we can. It says that uh, you can exalt Him uh, with, with your all and still fall short. Roughly paraphrasing Sirach, but I believe it's forty-three. So we can go in all oh, like, yeah, the, the kingdom's gonna be like this. The kingdom, we gonna have this in the kingdom. It really falls short to what we're going to have. All right. To, to the abilities that we're going to have. The type of freedom. The type of power. The type of glory. Okay. And that's right around the corner. So we just got to hold on. And we got to focus on, 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 on the reward. This is the comfort in our affliction. The book of Psalms it says that. So let's go back into James chapter 2. In verse 5, it says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he have promised to them that love him. Okay, rich, it says, uh, rich in faith. We're poor in this world. Yeah, okay, whatever, man. Who cares? This world's coming to an end. Okay, but we're rich in faith. Okay, faith. the faith that we have hasn't been given to just anybody. Faith is a gift, Ephesians 2 and 8. And by faith is how you be saved. Again, that's the greatest bunker that you can possibly have. Faith in Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Faith in his name. Going back into that Proverbs I was gonna grab that I was gonna grab, it says 
The name of the Lord is a strong tower of defense. The righteous run it into it and is safe. That's the bunker. Faith in the Lord. Faith in his name. Okay? That's going to be our salvation. That's what's going to keep us. It says, I will deliver you. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai said, I will deliver you in six troubles. Yea, and seven, and seven shall no evil touch you. At famine and destruction, thou shalt laugh. In the book of Psalms 91, it says, in the book of Psalms 91, it says, A thousand shall fall at your left side and ten thousand at your right side, but no evil shall come nigh thy dwelling. Roughly paraphrasing. So we're going to be sheltered, man. Just recently, a F3 tornado hit this bitch, hit this uh, uh, Iowa where we're at, Des Moines or whatever, around here. Okay, uh, if you was, it was last Saturday, we were supposed to camp. Okay, and man, it started hailing. My car got uh, uh, a little bit of hail damage or whatever, ice balls. <laughs> Falling from the uh uh from the heavens, okay. It was, uh, like a dozen people died. I don't know the exact numbers, but there was deaths. The motherfuckers' houses was opening up, okay. But hey, the brothers are straight. We good, and we're gonna see a lot more of that. Where a lot of people around us is dropping dead, but the men of the Lord is gonna be straight. Ezekiel the ninth chapter. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. As for the others, let not your eyes spare, neither show any pity, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. So judgment is going to intensify and it's going to increase. And the Lord is going to shelter his men, his servants to prophets, his saints that fear his name, small and great. Okay, and should it destroy them that destroyeth the earth. Going into uh, Revelations the 11th chapter, the, eighth, the 18th verse. Have not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him? We're the heirs of the kingdom. Okay, out of our we're of that number, and we endure unto the end, and we hold fast that which we have already. We got a glorious kingdom coming to us. We're in dwelleth all good things. Okay, plentiness is made ready. Paradise is open. The tree of life is planted. Okay, second that's in Second Ezra's. Alright, we got all these different things coming for us, and it's and it's we just gotta hold on a little bit more longer and continue to um prepare for our Lord's return. The bridegroom is on his way. We wouldn't be them wise virgins that trimmed our lamps and that had oil in them. Okay, to keep our lights uh uh to keep our light burning. Okay, so that's all I have, man. Lord's will. You know, if the Spirit's on me, I'll try to do another lesson. But um, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rachachurash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Today, elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, my king, brothers, keep on pushing. Stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine redemptions near anyone believe. Shalom.